Hi everyone. Happy Fun Friday. I hope you guys have had a great week so far. This is um, my only video for you guys today because for writing, it is Fun Friday, so it's free choice writing today. So I picked a silly story to read with you guys instead of um, what, the one that I had already had planned, so I'll save that for another time. But this one is called Frog on a Log. And notice how Miss House is reading it like I'm confused because the end of it has a question mark. So it's asking, frog on a log? Hmm, he seems like he might be a little confused. This book is by Kess Gray and Jim Field. Frog on a log? Hey frog, sit on a log, said the cat. But I don't want to sit on a log, said the frog. Logs are all hard and uncomfortable, and they can give you splinters. Ouch! I don't care, said the cat. You're a frog, so you must sit on the log. You guys see how he has some splinters? Oh no! Can't I sit on a mat, asked the frog. Only cats sit on mats, said the cat. What about a chair, said the frog. I wouldn't mind sitting on a chair. Hare sit on chairs, said the cat. Hare is another word for rabbit or bunny. Perhaps I could sit on a stool, said the frog. Mules sit on stools, said the cat. What about a sofa, said the frog. I could stretch right out on that sofa. Go first sit on sofas, said the cat. It's very simple, really. Cats sit on mats, hares sit on chairs, mules sit on stools, gophers sit on sofas, and frogs sit on logs. So do you guys see how each animal sits on the thing it, match it rhymes with? So cat, mat, hare, chair, Mule, stool, gopher, gopher, sofa, gopher, sofa, frogs, logs. So it's a rhyming book. What do lions sit on? asked the frog. Lions sit on irons, said the cat. Ouch, said the frog. What do parrots sit on? Parrots sit on carrots, said the cat. Lions sit on irons and parrots sit on cats, or sit on carrots. That doesn't sound very comfortable, said the frog. It's not all about being comfortable, said the cat. It's about doing the right thing. What do foxes sit on, asked the frog. Foxes sit on boxes, said the cat. Foxes sit on boxes and fleas sit on peas. What do goats sit on? asked the frog. Goats sit on coats, said the cat. Goats sit on coats, cows sit on plows, and storks sit on forks. What do gorillas sit on? asked the frog. Gorillas sit on pillars, said the cat. Gorillas sit on pillars, rats sit on hats, weasels sit on easels, and moles sit on poles. What do seals sit on? asked the frog. Don't you know anything? said the cat. Seals sit on wheels, doves sit on gloves, newts sit on flutes, lizards sit on wizards, and apes sit on grapes. What about puffins? asked the frog. Puffins sit on muffins, said the cat. Puffins sit on muffins, snakes sit on cakes, owls sit on towels, gibbons sit on ribbons, lambs sit on jams, and bees sit on keys. Well, I never knew that, said the frog. Well, you do now, said the cat. What do dogs sit on? asked the frog. 
I was hoping you weren't going to ask that, said the cat. Hmm, what do you guys think? So the frog asks, what do dogs sit on? So if all the animals sit on something that it rhymes with, what is something that rhymes with dog? Hmm. Once you have an idea, share it with your adult. And then Miss House is going to show you what dogs sit on. Help is what this says. What do dogs sit on? Frogs. Oh, no. There's Mr. Frog at the end. Awesome. All right. So I hope that you guys, I'm going to clear, there's something that popped up on my computer. Um, I hope you guys liked that story. That was a silly one. Um, to end this week, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, and the rest of your day is a fun Friday indeed. Um, I know the weather's not supposed to be fabulous, but this weekend it looks great. So hopefully you guys get some time to um, enjoy that outside with family and the people that you love. And I will see you guys next week back on here for some other videos. Okay, have a great weekend. Bye, everyone.